your Kestrel heat stress system includes the 5400 heat stress tracker, let's walk through the main features. Use the up and down arrows to scroll through the measurement screen of your Kestrel. If you press the select button on WBGT measurements, you can set preloaded or custom alerts for WBGT. To receive light or buzzer alerts when WBGT is above a zone threshold, scroll to and select alerts in the WBGT settings menu. There you can set light and buzzer alerts individually. Selecting a zone for light or buzzer will cause the alert to activate when conditions match the threshold to the selected zone. On your Link app, it is recommended to change the name of your Keshu device for tracking purposes. It's easy to do. Just tap Settings for your Keshu device you want to modify. Tap Edit in the top right corner. Enter your new name in the text field. You could also change the color by swiping left or right on the picture of the Keshu. Once you enter a new name for the Keshu and select the matching color, tap Save. Now, let's go over setting up your device dashboard. Tap Dashboard for the Keshu device you want to set up. Tap the Edit button. Tap radio boxes on the left of your screen to add or remove measurements you want to view on the live dashboard. Tap Save. Tap the full screen icon to display live measurements in full screen mode. Full screen mode also supports landscape layout. Select the back button on your device to exit the full screen. If you want to view live data from multiple Keshu units on one tablet, then you're going to want to use the multi-device dashboard. There, you can customize the multi-device dashboard to view live measurements from several connected devices at once and filter data from each device. To display data from more than one Keshu device, you must switch to the multi-device dashboard. Tap the dashboard button of a connected Keshu device. Tap multi-device and use the plus edit icons to make changes. Use the edit icon to select measurements you want removed from the multi-device dashboard and or change the view in order. Use the plus icon to select measurements to add and which device to provide chosen measurements. You can also view in full screen mode from the multi-device dashboard as well. You can capture a snapshot of the data in your dashboard. Make sure you're in your device dashboard and tap Capture. Tap View to check out your snapshot. Select which measurements you would like to export or select Dashboard Measurements Only. There you can just select the measurements that are currently displayed on your dashboard and then tap Save. Now tap the Share icon at the top right corner to export the file as a CSV or PDF. You can also record sessions from your dashboard. Just go to your device dashboard and tap Start Recording. Once you finish recording, you'll see this prompt. Tap View to see your session. Use the Measurement tab to select which measurements you want to view and export, or once you can select the toggle for dashboard measurements only, to just select the measurements that are currently displayed on your dashboard, then tap Save. Use the Stats tab to view the min, average, and max of your session. Tap the chart icon to see a graph visual of a measurement in your session. Here you can select the data point icon to see the recorded data points in bullet point format. You can change the details tab to edit the session name and identify data of your session. You can change the name, add a description, enter notes, and even add photos. Once you save your changes, you can tap the Share icon to export the data in CSV or PDF format. It is important to set up which alerts you would like to receive from your unit. OSHA area offices shall assess the potential for heat-related illnesses, injuries, and deaths which heat-related hazards may exist in indoor work areas or at outdoor work areas on heat priority days when the heat index is expected to be 80 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. So let's set up an alert for the heat index threshold of 80 degrees Fahrenheit. To set up this alert, we need to go to device settings for the device you want the alerts from, then tap manage alerts. Tap add alerts next. Tap the device measurement for which you want an alert, in this case, heat index. For threshold, enter 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure direction is above so the alert triggers when the heat index is greater than 80 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Toggle switches to turn on email and or text message alerts. Enter your email and mobile number. Hit save in the top right corner to save your new alert. Do the same thing for each device you would like to set alerts for. Now let's review accessing your historical data. Your 5400 heat stress tracker is always logging data even when it's not connected to the Link app. To view your historical data in the app from your main dashboard, tap the history icon at the bottom. Select which day you would like to view the data logs or tap the calendar icon to expand to the monthly view. Select the day that has associated data with it by looking for the blue dot under the date. Days with no blue dot have no recorded data for that specific day. Once you select your day, then tap daily log for the specific device where you want to review the data. Select which measurements you would like to export or share or toggle dashboard measurements only. Click save when your required measurements are selected. Once selected data is saved, you can go to the stats page to view the historical data by graph or by numerical data points. You can also click on the export icon to share a CSV file via email. To select the date and time range to view data instead of a daily log, in the history section, tap timeline in the top left corner, then tap the filter icon in the top right corner. Here you can filter out which device you would like to see data for. You can also filter out the specific date and time range of your data you would like to view. To learn more about the Keshu heat stress monitoring system and how it can help prevent heat-related incidents, visit keshuinstruments.com.